Good morning, guys. Good morning. You know you're in Innsbruck when you have this as your background. Honestly, check out that water. It doesn't even look real. It also, is. you can see the mountains today, and you can even see, maybe not on camera, little white peaks. I think it snowed up there overnight. Yes, we're looking so forward to heading up there. But first, we're going to grab a coffee. There's a well-known coffee kind of chain here called Coffee Cult. So we're going to go and check it out and warm us up on this freezing cold morning. Oh my God, it's not even a cafe. Honestly, I don't have high hopes for this, but oh, it smells so good. We've never had the best of luck with vending machine coffee. Not the best? Not the best. Not the worst. Not the best. All right, got our coffee, and I think we're gonna jump on a bus to head up to the first cable car. Let's go. Uh, we're a lot higher, I'll show you how much higher we are. So we're at the first cable car we've got to get and the views are already insane. But we've got to go up again to the top of the mountain. So this was the Nordket station and we have to get on the Hungerberg cable car to get to the next stop. Because we have the welcome card, we get 20% discount each. So it ended up costing 70 euro for both of us, 35 euro each up and back. Um, and at least in two minutes, so we better hurry. We were planning to hike, but we are not because we want to go to the very top and you can't hike to the very, very top. So I'm quite injured. Oh, Steve's saying, yes, you can, but we're not doing that. And I'm quite happy just to chill in this awesome little cable car. I was saying to Steve the other day, I read that you could go paragliding. I would love to do that. Unfortunately, it's too expensive for our budget, but... We could barely afford the tickets up here. Yeah, I know, it was so expensive. All right, I think I've worked it out. The excitement's like calmed down a little bit. So we're at Sigurd here, 1905 meters. Our ticket includes the top of Innsbruck here at Hafelkala and we get up to 2,256 meters. So I think that's where we're gonna head shortly. I think there's a lookout point over here, which everyone's walking to. I think we're gonna head over there first, try and absorb and soak up as much of these views as possible. You can see like the peaks of this mountain range. It is absolutely incredible, the Austrian Alps. And then we'll head up to the Hafelkala a little bit later. Also, I just saw snow around the corner too. You saw snow? We saw snow. Well, Where? I saw snow. Where? Do you want to go see? Yes. Oh my god, it's on the ground too. Ah! Is it cold? It's really cold. I probably shouldn't have done that. This is our first time like touching... Fresh snow. Fresh snow. <laughs> How sad it is. We're like loving the little remnants of snow on the ground. <laughs> yeah, this is like barely snow and we're getting so excited. So the only snow we've seen is in Sapporo and it yep. wasn't really snow, it was just frozen ice. ice on the side of the road. I feel like a child. I actually feel like a child that's like experiencing something new for the first time. Well, we are experiencing yeah. something new for the first time, but Innsbruck is so, oh, it's so cool. I love it. Also, there's lots of poo in the ground. So there, I think there's goats and sheep and stuff up here as well. Mountain goats? Yeah, so we might see some of those as well. Oh, you can see through the bottom. <laughs> oh my god, you can see it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it, oh, it shakes too. 
This feels so dodgy. It does, doesn't it? Oh my god, it's shaky. But we've got this whole thing to ourselves. We it's, do. It, I don't know if it doesn't usually get busy or if we're coming the off season. It is kind of heading towards the end of October, so. It's not quite summer, it's not quite winter, so I think it's pretty chilled, but this is cool. I was saying to Krista before, I think this is one of my definitely top moments of traveling. To be up here, there's barely any people, beautiful day, we saw snow, touch snow. Kind of speechless, which is not very often that happens. <laughs> So I knew it was going to be super sunny today, so I bought some spray for my solar panel. <laughs> you just sprayed that and it just blew completely away from you. I don't think any went on you. Alright, so someone's hungry. I'm so hungry. And I saw something on the menu that I really like. Well, I don't know if I like it, but I um, assume I'm going to like it. It's potato soup with sausage. And we naively came up here without any food or drinks or anything. Like, well, we've got water. Yeah. Which and is really unlike us. Normally yeah. we're prepared with snacks and things like that. But just today we were too excited to come up here. So we There's a restaurant up here, so Christy's going to get some soup. Yep. I might even get a beer because it's 12.30. So why not <laughs> drink a beer and look at this amazing view? And probably a sausage, to be honest. So we did plan to go out for lunch at a restaurant down the hill or down the mountain, but we've ended up getting this. So we'll probably go out for dinner mm -hmm. to get schnitzel and there's another, I don't know, it was a potato dish with a fried egg on top, but we're going to finish this and head back up, the, or not head back up, go head up the mountain. Up. Yep. Instantly colder up here. It's so much colder. So this mountain is what was it? Two thousand three hundred. Two thousand two hundred, I think. So the elevation we're at now is 2,256 metres. Just some perspective for our friends and family back up home. Arthur's seat is 314 metres and Mount Dandenong Observatory is 633 metres. So it's quite a bit higher. <laughs> the view's crazy. So we're going to head up to Kaspitske, <laughs> which I think is up there. That is 2335 metres. Yes. And this is an easy route that you don't need ropes for. So. It's, only a, it's only a 15 minute walk from yep. the cable car. Look at this snow. Oh, and it's slippery too. Is it? My shoes are slipping. I love that sound of snow under your feet. Oh, the crunching. <laughs> to West Seas Beanie I get really really sore ears in the cold and I actually set a reminder to bring earplugs to do this walk but I forgot so Steve has kindly sacrificed his beanie for my ears. This shows you how cold it is up here. Absolutely incredible. I feel like we're in a volcanic mountain range or something like that. The earth and the landscape is just rock and ice. I 
definitely wore the wrong shoes for today. Because you've got really good quality hiking like Timberland boots. So, and they're what I'm wearing now. And he cho he's choosing to wear these like ratty old street <laughs> shoes with holes got holes in them. them. I didn't know there was going to be this much though. <laughs> I would love to know the temperature. It's definitely below zero. I would say less snow. I reckon maybe like minus four. See if we can find find like a thermometer. It's beautiful though. I love this temperature. I don't think we could have picked a better day to do it. Yeah. Blue skies and perfect. Nice and cool. There's snow. It's yeah. It's absolutely perfect. Had I bought earplugs and my own beanie so Steve didn't have to suffer, <laughs> it would have been better, but my head's alright. Thank you. That's alright. <laughs> So an hour or so later, we're down from the top of the mountain and we've come down to a museum called the Tira Panorama. Tira Panorama Museum. So we're here specifically from Marion and Verena that we met at the top of the mountain that you saw earlier. And they recommended that we come here to check out a panoramic painting. So we're here. Ooh, careful. We're trying to find the entrance though. I think it's down here. It closes at 5. The last entry was at 4.30. We got here at 4.20. So. And we just climbed up a massive hill. That's why we're not wearing jumpers. <laughs> and it's really hot in here. It's so hot in here. Doesn't it look like a painting? It looks like a um, like a projection. And because we didn't have any time, we didn't plan to come here. We've had no time at all to do any research. We're going to have to get all the footage, check it out, and then do the research after because we know nothing about it. So you get a nice little voiceover in three, two. One. This impressive 360 degree painting is called the Tyrol Panorama, which measures around 1,000 square meters and depicts the Battle of the Tyrolean War of Liberation in August of 1809. These types of paintings were very popular in the 19th century, but nowadays there's only around 30 of them left worldwide. If you're in Innsbruck, it's definitely worth checking out. So I don't know if we're correct here, but I think the place that we're standing now depicts the exact spot where the museum is in this mural. Because that church right there, we walk past that on the way to here, and then the mountains up here, that's what we climbed this morning. And then you've got the river mm -hmm. running through the city there. And that hill is what we climbed up just then to get here. So there's a lot more to see in this museum than just the panoramic painting that we just saw. We unfortunately don't have time. It's 10 minutes to five. They just put the announcement on saying that they're closing and everyone has to get out. So we're going to have a brief walk around for the next five minutes, absorb but probably nothing <laughs> because that's no time at all, and then head on out for dinner. So we've just come down to our dinner restaurant. It's called Stiff's Keller. It is so loud. There are so many people here being rowdy because everyone is tanked. It's super busy and it was actually really hard to find a seat, but we managed to find one here in the corner. Yes. Because it's so loud, we probably won't film too much of the meals. We're not going to talk too much. So yeah. Steve's got his beer. We'll show you the food when it arrives. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh my God. We ordered so much food. We ordered, we way over ordered. We thought, oh, we'll order a little side salad. Look at our side salad. <laughs> it's a main than, course. It's bigger than everything else. Oh my God, it looks so good and it smells amazing. But I went for the schnitzel with potatoes. That is some sort of salad. I can't remember the name. And what did you get, Christy? I can't remember the name either. We'll put them on the screen. Austria and not have the famous apple strudel. A lot of people think that it originated in Germany. It didn't. It's a Viennese dish. 
The oldest recipe actually dates back to 1696 and is held in the Viennese Library in Vienna. I'm sorry if you can't hear me, it is so loud in here. Um, but I'm going to give it a try first. I think I've had, yeah, I've definitely had apple strudel before. It's like layers of pastry, apples, I think it's got some spices. We could either get it with custard or whipped cream, so we just decided to do custard. Alright. I'm excited. Of course it's delicious. It's really, really sweet. The cust a lot of the sweetness is actually coming from the custard. I can't really taste any spices in it. Maybe a hint of cinnamon or nutmeg. I was kind of expecting there to be a lot of like cloves or you know that like Christmassy kind of taste? It doesn't taste like that. It's just like a really nice, simple, it's probably not simple at all. <laughs> it's probably quite complex to me, but it's, yeah, the flavors are really nice. It's subtle, it's appley, it's wintry, the custard's really nice and creamy and sweet. I really like it, it's good. Mm. Mm. I love that. I'm gonna finish this off in my beer. All right, we'll see you outside. Probably gonna have to roll me out of here. That was such the, a perfect way to end the last day and yesterday as well. Yep. We've enjoyed Innsbruck so much, so much more than what we think we would. And it was funny because we were walking out of the restaurant and I heard these Australian accents and we have not heard the Aussie accent for ages, since Scotland, since we bumped Met into Thane. Thane? Yeah, Thane, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so hi Thane. And yeah, hello Robin and Robert who we just bumped into then. They and live they, like- They just live like just down the road from us yeah, in Melbourne. Yeah, like 20 minutes away from us, so. Good but, to meet you. And and yeah. We'll see you next in Germany. All right, bye. Bye.